Well, my dad was here since the very beginning, so we've been part of the Paul Mitchell farm and farming the Avapuhi for about 40 years. I've only been here for 38 years, so my entire life. I was born into it, I was born into the Paul Mitchell family. I'm Manuel McDonald, and I'm the middle son of Harry McDonald. My family has always run the farm here. Paul Mitchell had bought this farm to just have an escape from the world. He was already a well, very well-known hairdresser, and he just wanted to have a place where he could live off the land. Uh, this was my father's uh, dream. This was his utopia, creating a self-sufficient property and farm. It's all solar powered, straight from the sun, water from the sky. That's always what Paul's dream was, to just live off the land and feed the land, and the land would feed you. And he planted fruit trees of every different kind. So we have avocado trees and lemon trees and oranges and tangerines and tangelos and bananas and hundreds of different flowers and all kinds of stuff. My dad, Harry McDonald, had this little health food store and Paul Mitchell was a regular in there and then they just became very close friends. This one day when they were hiking in uh, YPO Valley, they came across this woman that was this Hawaiian woman and she was showering in this waterfall with these flowers, these red flowers, and she was squeezing them on her hair. And Paul, being this wild and crazy hairdresser, he was just blown away. So I got the avapui, took it back to my house, squeezed the juice out of the avapui right onto my hair, lathered it up, and it was an, um, remarkable. So I took that, sent it to my uh, the chemist. They got all excited about it. John Paul got all excited about it. Then we went down to the valleys and found out how we could actually harvest it and, uh, and get it out. But the thing that makes it special and why they use it in shampoos and the Hawaiians would use it is that the ginger has 19 of the 21 amino acids that hair needs and that's what makes it special. The Hawaiians, they would use the gel from the flower and they would squeeze it out and use it as a shampoo, just straight from the flower. And that's where you will see Paul drinking the gel right from the flower and Angus does it too. It's great, man, it's great. They started looking into the root and they found that the root has all the same properties as the gel, just extremely concentrated. This is just some of the ginger that we have, but all these beds right here are the avapuhi ginger in them. It's a seasonal plant, so right now it's dormant and the roots are just under the ground and they're still growing, but like I said, it's seasonal. So right now all the greenery and all the flowers and everything has died back. So when it comes to about like June or July, it'll start shooting all back up. And these will be like four foot tall of thick green ginger and big red flowers. That's when we do our harvest and we'll dig them up and get what we need out of it. And then we'll redig the beds, fertilize them and stick the ginger root back in. And that's how we replant them. But there in here is the ginger root. And this is like a good sized ginger root here. And you can see it's just brown and dirty, but when you break it open, and it's that iconic avapuhi smell that a lot of the shampoos and stuff have. So this is straight from the ground right here. So up here is the, what we call the drying shed. And it's kind of a little greenhouse processing room. So when we harvest the ginger, we'll bring it over here all dirty. Then we'll bring them over, we'll put them out on this big screen out here and pressure wash them all with, with a high powered pressure washer just to take off all the loose dirt. And then in these sinks, we'll further break it apart by hand and then we'll hand wash them in here. Every root is hand washed. We'll start taking all the roots off like this. And then we slice it all down into small pieces. Then these chunks here, and you can smell that ginger now as soon as you start cutting it up. So we'll put it onto screens like this, and then these screens will take upstairs into the drying room. So this drying shed here is basically a copy of a solar dehydrator that Paul Mitchell and my father, Harry McDonald, they created. It is very efficient in drying things. When the sun hits it, 
it can get up to 130 degrees. And so it only takes about two days for the ginger to dry. Once the ginger is to a very dry, crunchy texture, we'll bring the ginger over and we'll feed it through this hammer mill. And what comes out is this powder. And so this is the dried avapuhi powder. And this is what we will send off to the factory. And so this is what goes into the product. So I grew up here on the farm, running around with Angus, swimming in the ponds and swinging from the trees and hiding in the caves all around the farm. We would be out in the ginger beds. Our parents would be digging ginger and planting it. And we would, because the flowers were full of gel and just, we were kids, we would take them and start throwing them at each other. And they would hit like a water balloon and spray the gel all over and stuff. And now actually if my children and Angus's son are kind of doing the same thing. And then as my parents got older and kind of started to retire a little bit, then I started slowly kind of taking over their duties here at the farm. And now my kids are running around and jumping in the ponds and taking people on tours and, you know, just living off the land, kind of what Paul always envisioned to have. So it's definitely on to the next generation. Today I get to uh, think about my son. My father is uh, resting here on this beautiful land with my grandmother and also John Paul's mother. And it's just a beautiful family to be a part of. So out of this piece of ginger, a whole new generation of ginger will start growing. It's all harvested by hand and processed by hand. And so there's definitely that sense of tranquility and love that goes into every root that is harvested spreading that love around the world.